all partied out in oh. the case of having to have been to a monster party and eh, I don't really feel like doing another thing like that. That's That was ridiculous. Let's, therefore, we need to find something that's more our weight class of not completely out of our weight class. I don't remember what's in here. Let's go take a look. Ah, right, the shop till you drop. Perfect, okay. So I remember where we are. This this will be good. Now, given that this is adventurous, ow, I am mildly worried about the monsters in here. Hi. Hello. But if we head deeper into the dungeon and it becomes dangerous, we bail out and come back. We've been killing tons of enemies. And so I'm, I have to say I'm mildly surprised we have not leveled up yet. Or rather, we're level six, but I'm surprised we're not a higher level than that. It's a very small floor, so I guess we're gonna go deeper into the dungeon. All right, still adventurous. And this brigand is dangerous. Hey, there's our level up. The floor is still adventurous, which means we were kind of punching right around our weight class. What is this? Pin in place. All right, that seems pretty useful. If we pin them, then we can quietly run away. Coincidentally, if we find a secret, we're almost assuredly not gonna fuck around with it because on adventurous, the, like a monster party would be death. There, there's no surviving uh, monster party if we were on this level. And what, what did that thing say? Air is tense with a powerful evil. Well, we just killed a bug that was, gave us a proof of strength. I wonder if that was the monster it was referring to. We will cautiously assume yes, and remain careful all the same. What the fuck? Good, teleport spells. Just what I wanted in my dungeon. Uh, that is mildly disconcerting, as is that. Oh, I don't have enough stamina for that. Damn. Okay. Did I get enough stamina to power drive? No. Come on, game. The fact that our skills take... Whoa, hello. Take so much stamina. Like, a skill should not increase in stamina as you level up. That, that makes no sense to me. Well, there's only a little bit we haven't explored up. Oh, hello. A little bit we haven't explored up here yet. Oh, a hidden portal. Hey, neat. Now, do we want to take that? I'm gonna guess no. Is that the full floor? It is. All right. Well, let's poke a little bit deeper then. Oh. Okay. Hello, boys. Damn, I have never seen a chest glowing before. I really would love if we could get a better bow. Uh, though the rewards may be great, act with caution. Disturbing this chest will summon powerful champions long in exile. You must defeat them all to claim the rewards. I don't want to get involved in monster politics. We'll deal with that on the way back. What the hell? How did that... How did so many enemies spawn there? B halberder hits B carpenter. The bees are killing each other. Is there a secret passage here or are they just all somehow spawn there for no particular reason? Oh, I don't know, whatever. What the hell's going on? Yay! 
Yeah, how come it didn't move until after? That was weird. And again, the spawn rate is just way too much. Oh, what the hell? Uh, you're scary looking. And now you're dead. And more! Holy fuck! More enemies! Look, what is this? Give me a second! There's literally dead-end hallways! How are they spawning? Anybody else want to take a crack at me? No? We're good? What the fuck? Game! This is actually bullshit. These two hallways just keep spawning so much shit. And we're starting to get into enemy types that I've never seen before, so I can't even begin. <laughs> to estimate what they do. to get ridiculous. There's so many enemies. Hive of savings. Yes. Let's take a look. Well, I mean, we got a little bit of money. Well, one shopping trip later, it basically, I picked up a couple of potions so that hopefully our longevity is long for the holy fuck. Long for this world. Damn. Damn. Son, where'd, where'd you, you find, find this? this? That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> Combining memes. Damn, Damn son. son. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Once again, a million enemies. And we basically have enough stamina in each encounter to do one thing. Which is something I genuinely don't understand. Although this looks, that looks like, oh, blood blue. Uh. Hello, sir. Now what? You can't see me. And I can see you. Do not get into close combat with this thing. That is some stupid as shit skills. It's a big ass dungeon too. Come back here, I know you're there. Just gonna stand there and wait until I uh, inevitably charge in because I get impatient. Damn. Damn you for preying on my weakness. You know, one feature I think this game is missing, which it's a very minor complaint in the grand scheme of things. It's missing the ability like in One Way Heroics, wherein as soon as you see an enemy, it freezes and doesn't allow immediately enter your next input. Because it's like, you it knows you if you see an enemy, you're probably not gonna want, or you're gonna wanna change your input based off of what you just did. But instead of going, oh, sorry, you moved, haha, -ha, and laughing at you, it's like, eh, well, 
cut you some slack here. Dealing with a million enemies! Come on now, I saw you. Oof! Kinda burning. Well, you guys can kind of fuck off then. Okay, this is bad. I have a plan. We have a scroll for this. That's why we carry those scrolls. And what do we got here? Hall of Champ. No fucking way. Hall of Champions is how my very first character ever died. And the Hall of Champions, believe it or not, is nothing but a huge ass room like the monster. But look at how many people there are up there! Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, let's go up there and clear that out. Uh, but the Hall of Champions is like a monster party, except instead of it being, uh, okay. just a two-tile move, and it only takes two stamina, so let's... So many monsters! I cleared this whole floor, and it's like, actually, there's a million more. <sighs> let's start drinking some potions. Let's start with a healing potion, too. And where is their stamina? Okay. Everybody just frickin' uh, smooth criminaled over. Been struck by a smooth criminal. And we'll drink another healing potion. Oh my gosh, there's so many freaking things. Okay, we're now out of... Is that everybody for the moment? Oh my gosh, game. We managed to clear out most of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is... Part of me is like, this is super challenging, and part of me is like, this is super bullshit. Let's... Stamina pot up. Okay. 400 health. That's a lot of health. No idea. 400... Alright. So we're gonna start by diving out of the way. Then... Power drive the ninja. Whoa. You hurt. Now we can quick dash away a little bit. And then stick and move. So. And 
power drive. The ninja? We've got enough for another stick and move. Where did you come from, you piece of shit? Take a second and stamina potion again. So that we can quick dash to there. And then we've got enough stamina at this point to do a stick and move. And that's given us enough stamina for a stick and move. Poison 30, poison 40, poison 50. I think we're dead. I have an anti-poison, but I can't survive damage. Huh. Well, we have bending active. What are the odds that we dodge? Probably not great. But a defy poison's the only thing we can do. Yeah. It's bullshit. I think the game is bullshit. It's way, way, way too hard sometimes when it just spawns infinite enemies. You gotta be able to clear things out. When they spawn faster than you can kill them, no matter how good you are at this game, eventually it's just game over. Oh well. Till next time, guys. Later.